Flaying involves removing the skin of the victim, usually by making incisions with a knife to the legs, buttocks, and torso, and then removing the skin as intact as possible. Before being flayed, a prisoner was often tied up and stretched out on a specifically designed torture device. A method of torture or execution used most often in ancient and medieval times, flaying occurs when a person's skin is removed, usually while they are still alive. The brazen bull was allegedly a torture and execution device designed in ancient Greece. A device made by the Attic sculptor Perillos. This was known as the brazen bull. Made entirely of bronze and the size of a real bull, the condemned was placed inside the hollow bull via a small door at the back. A great fire would be lit underneath, and the unfortunate fellow inside would be slowly roasted alive. Even the notoriously cruel tyrant Phalaris was shocked by the device, and thought it appropriate to test the bull, by throwing its inventor inside. Death by Molted Metal In ancient Israel, Mosaic law defined 36 crimes as punishable by death. Those guilty of incest and adultery with the married daughter of a member of the priesthood, were executed by burning, but not by being burned from the outside. First, the guilty individual would be strangled with a rope by two witnesses integral to the case. It was a soft rope as it was considered humane not to cause additional suffering with coarse material. When the strangulation caused the condemned to gasp for air, molten lead was poured down his throat. Pinacale, penalty of the sack. 2000 years ago, in ancient Rome, talk of getting the sack might have meant the grisly capital punishment Pinacale, penalty of the sack. Pinacale under Roman law was a type of death penalty imposed on a subject who had been found guilty of patricide. Patricide is the act of killing one's own father, or a person who kills their own father or stepfather. The punishment consisted of being sewn up in a leather sack, with an assortment of live animals including a dog, snake, minky, and a chicken or rooster, and then being thrown into water. Crucifixion. The hapless crucifixee typically would be stripped naked, then scorched and beaten, and then forced to carry a large wooden cross to his place of execution. They would next be nailed on to the cross through the hands and feet. Soldiers or bystanders would stab, beat, or humiliate the victim. Crucifixion was abolished throughout the Roman Empire in 337. The Boats Scaphism The punishment began with the condemned being taken to a body of water and placed inside a boat. Another identical boat was then sealed on top of it to make a sort of shell, with the man's arms, legs, and head sticking out of the sides. The victim would then be force-fed honey and milk, covering the face and arms and legs with it too. After a time in the direct sun, the face and limbs would become completely covered with flies. Suffering diarrhea in the boat, vermin would feed on the excrement, and then also start to enter the victim's body and feed on that, and devour the inside and out. One account of such an execution by the Greek historian Plutarch, claimed that it took the victim 17 whole days to die. Sawing. Sawing people to death was actually a really popular form of execution in the ancient world. The Romans, Persians, Jews, and Egyptians all sawed people to death. Methods varied, but the most horrendous type of sawing was the one where lawmen would string criminals upside down, spread eagle and saw them from the anus or vagina to their abdomen, where they would then bleed to death slowly. Because they were upside down, the blood rush to their heads would keep the criminals conscious throughout the whole horrific process. Sawing people as a method of execution disappeared in the 1820s. Boiling. In Roman times thousands of water-based execution methods were being used. Most criminals were simply tossed into a vat of boiling liquid, such as water, oil, molten lead, wax, tallow, or wine, or into a vat of cold water, that was slowly brought to a boil. Here a convicted prisoner was placed until the person died. The drowning cell. A room that criminals were thrown into before being filled with water. If the criminal wished to avoid drowning, he would have to utilize the pump in his cell to get rid of the water, which flowed into the box at a pace that kept the criminal working hard to avoid death by drowning. Breaking wheel. 
involves strapping a criminal to a spoked wooden wheel and breaking all of the bones in his or her body, starting with the legs. This method is believed to have been invented in the Holy Roman Empire, what is now Germany, during the Middle Ages. And the bone breaking was only the first part of a two-part act. After all of the bones were crushed with a mallet or hammer, the body of the still alive criminal was transferred onto a second wheel and threaded through the spokes, before being hoisted up into the air for the passers-by to view at their pleasure. The birds and other scavengers that eventually came to pick the meat of the criminal's bones, ensured, according to medieval superstition, that the said criminal's soul never reached heaven. Impalement, version 1. Here's some more execution by anus methods. The anus is a particularly tender taboo spot to torture. Impalement involved hammering a sharpened stick into a criminal's body via the anus or vagina, before then hoisting up the criminal and letting gravity pull the criminal slowly back down to the ground. The stick would eventually protrude through the victim's head or shoulders or back, killing him, but not before he suffered hours of humiliating, excruciating pain, as a sharpened stick tore slowly through his body, via the initial point of entry through his body. The anus. The length of time which one managed to survive upon the stake is reported as quite varied, from a few seconds or minutes to a few hours or even a few days. This method of execution is found everywhere in the world at one point in time. Impalement, version 2, the Judas Cradle. Another form of impalement was so heinous it got its own name. The Judas Cradle. A stool with a spike pyramid on top, the victims of the Judas Cradle were stripped naked, bound, and slowly lowered over the top of the pyramid, until it tore into the anus. If the victims didn't die from the blood loss, they would die from infection, since Judas Cradles were never cleaned. It was rumored that Soviet troops used impalement techniques on Polish and German prisoners of war during World War II, but this execution method seems largely to have disappeared by the end of the 19th century. Hanged, drawn, and quartered. This execution was reserved for the most treasonous enemies of the English monarchy. A traitor was of course hanged, almost to the point of death, drawn, on the ground, by a horse, and quartered, but that's only the half of it. Enemies of the English crown also had their genitals removed and were disemboweled. The disembowelment involved removing intestines, rather than vital organs, so that the treasonous victim could suffer for hours, sometimes days, before being quartered. Several variants of this method can be found throughout the world. The rats. This is the one, where a bunch of rats are placed on a criminal's stomach, chest, or buttocks and covered with a pottery bowl, open side face down. Then, hot charcoal was placed on the other end of the bowl, so that the rats would have no choice, but to eat through the victim, if they wanted to escape the heat. Rat torture is alleged to have been used as currently as the 1980s by military governments and intelligence agencies in Latin America. In 1980s Argentina, Jewish prisoners had a tube filled with starving rats forcibly inserted into their anus. Burning at the stake. Some say there is nothing worse than being burned alive. Burning at the stake was a traditional form of execution for women found guilty of witchcraft. Most accusations of witchcraft, however, did not originate in the church, but resulted from personal rivalries and disputes in small towns and villages. Burning at the stake is a method of execution practiced in Babylonia and ancient Israel and later adopted in Europe and North America. Torn apart. In its classic form this generally involved the person being chained to four horses which then set off in opposite directions. This often didn't go smoothly, and deaths could be agonizingly slow as limbs failed to be ripped off. One of the earliest and perhaps most unpleasant was the ancient Romans tearing apart by trees. Now you wouldn't have thought trees were very active or mobile. This form of execution though used younger, more flexible trees. Two trees next to each other would be bent and tied down to the ground with strong ropes. The unfortunate victim would have a leg tied to either tree, and then the ropes holding down the tree would be cut. The recoil was said to be sufficient to tear a man apart. Thanks for watching. 
Many more videos will come out soon, so make sure to subscribe. Cheers guys. Have a good one.